If you've enjoyed the content we've made so far in 2023, we're asking you to go to patreon.com slash kind of funny and toss us 10 bucks to say thanks as part of August's kind of funny Patreon pledge drive. That 10 spot would get you access to more than 300 exclusive episodes of content. And to give you a taste, we're posting one of our Patreon shows just like this each Saturday and Sunday in August. Enjoy. What's up, everyone? Oh, where's the camera? What's up, everybody? Welcome to your first episode of Gregway, the daily vlog here on patreon.com slash kind of funny slash kind of funny games. You've known me a long time. I don't like that it isn't. Should we just say? I mean, they, both Patreons are the same now. You know that. Same perks, everything in one thing. It's great. But I want, like, I don't like saying one because then if what about happening games? And I don't like just saying games, but you know. It's something I need to think out. There's a plenty to figure out. Uh, if you missed the news, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Greg Miller, and now on Patreon.com slash Kind of Funny Games and Kind of Funny. God, I gotta figure out a better way to say it. I'm doing a daily vlog, five minutes with me each and every day, every work day, um, about whatever it is I want to talk about, whatever's going on, whatever's happening. And so, obviously, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Obviously, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a cool experiment. It's gonna be a great thought exercise for me. Uh, this, of course, is. Oh, did it fall down? See, I'm working. I got this new camera mount thing too, and it's just. Ugh, I gotta figure it out. I guess it's. Yeah, I gotta hold on. Everybody, hang on. If you're watching the video, hang on. If you're an audio listener, man, did we fuck you on this one, huh? This is it. Yeah, I gotta come down there. I gotta do this thing. Hold on. So now I didn't have this thing tight enough. I think I got it now, guys. Hold on. So now, but I want to break. Boop, 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 boop. I'm gonna check my head headroom there. Don't worry, this isn't your five minutes if you're walking. Well, I guess you know. I don't know how long the video is going to go, but you know how long everything's going. You got more information. So anyways, like I'm saying. Bah, bah, bah. Okay. So we read in a bunch of the Patreon stuff, as I'm sure you saw. Uh, $25 tier now gets you a whole bunch of different bonus uh, pieces of bonus content. Uh, one of them being this, or Greg Way, uh, the vlog series from Greg Miller. Five minutes every day, every work day. Just you and me hanging out and having a good time. Um, and of course, if you're saying, wait a second. I subscribe on Patreon for $10. How did I get this? Remember, the way we're going to do it now is that all the bonus content, which is 38 episodes of content throughout the month, about, obviously, it'll be different, you know, because we're not, like, working next month, week for Tuesday through Thursdays. We get ready for launch on Friday. Can you believe the studio launches on Friday? Um, it'll just be the Greg Ways next week. Anyways, about 38 episodes of content a month. That all goes on the $25 uh, exclusive uh, content level. However, the next month, all that goes for the $10 people. And so I said, hey, you might say that's great, good value for me at $10, who's also getting the show uh, ad free and also getting to watch live as you guys report podcasts. But since, you know, I don't get any of the bonus content because there was nothing that happened last month on content light. So I said, hey, we'll put the vlogs up for the month of October uh, on the $10 level so that then everybody has something to look forward to. There's a baby across the way staring at me, and it's not mine. So, uh, this is Gregway. This is the thing. Why are we in the car? I wanted to test the car mount. Uh, my plan is that I'll be driving a lot of times, and I'll just record the vlogs and talk to you that way while I drive very safe and cautiously. And so I wanted to test the mount, and then also I know I was going to cry during this, and I didn't want to cry w with Jen in the room or whatever. Because you might say, what's the first Greg Miller vlog going to be about? I'm glad you did. Hey, Siri. Set a five-and-a-half-minute timer. See, I, and 30 seconds I do the half, I'm doing down. the half minute thing, the 30 seconds, that way I can always preamble and bullshit around with you before I get into it. So, the first Greg Miller vlog, what's it about? This piece of pizza. So, as I said, uh, Friday, October 14th, we're going back to the studio, or going to the studio, the brand new studio, the kind of funny spare bedroom, marathon stream, yada, yada, yada. Uh, we went in there last Friday, though, and we're unpacking and setting up our desk and doing all this different stuff. So, it was like a trip to get my filing cabinet and open it up and have all these old photos of... Me and Jen and my old PlayStation VR and like the chalk from the the Christmas cup I have where you count down to Christmas stuff. Like it was just like it. I told Jen this is very serious. I don't mean to make it so serious. It reminded me of like those photos you see of the subway where it's still like the September 11th newspaper, but it's the September 11th newspaper from the morning edition, like before everything changed. So like our office and all this stuff is like all these like snapshots and times of things you know we boxed up, not expecting to be gone this long from or stuff I just never thought about again. And one of them, in fact, ladies and gentlemen, was this piece of pizza, which if you remember, uh, was Porty's piece of pizza, this little uh, dog toy that was over on the side of the Kind of Funny wall so that when Porty came over, we could pull it off the Kind of Funny podcast set and have him something to chew on. And I totally forgot about this pizza, and I was unpacking the box, and I pulled it out, and it broke my heart. 
and I, I didn't want to cry in the office, you know, so I put it away. And then, you know, I had, I had it in my pocket, and I got to the car, and I put it here on the car, this, you know, passenger seat, and I made the mistake of squeaking it. And oh my God, man, like, you know, I just hadn't heard that in a long time. You know, I, and, and I don't even mean like the squeaker itself. It's just the fact, of course, that like, you know, Porty was so old. And like he was, he, he didn't have much to squeak about there at the end, you know what I mean? And so like, fuck that devastated me. And then it really dawned on me, you know what I mean? Like, I haven't talked about Porty that much since, you know, we did the episode about him passing. And I, I mean, to you guys, obviously I've, I've talked to Jen all the time. Like, and I just think that's an interesting thing, you know, of like, how the content works and why I'm very excited for these vlogs, right? Is the idea that like, it can be something more personal and just a thought and, and a contained thought in a way that, you know, kind of funny podcast would be a pretty fucking huge downer if in the middle of, and I know we could do it, but if in the middle of, why don't you eat these cans of chili? Andy, I was also like, Hey guys, I cry every day about porny because I miss them so much. And I just feel like I don't say that enough, you know, like, I don't know. You know, I podcast in my head because I'm a psychopath all the time, right? It's like I have different bits I talk about. And obviously I talk to Jen all the time too. But like, you know, what's I can't believe what's like amazing and weird and fucked up about the whole thing, right? Is like what grief is. Like, you know, I tweeted a little bit about it and we did the podcast about it with Port and when Porty passed and stuff like that of like how rough those that weekend was and how dark that weekend was and how bad that weekend was and what grief felt like. <laughs> and it's just the fact that I can't get over the I can't get over the fact that like I am an ocean of grief. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it is there all the time. And what I talk about is like the ocean metaphor, right? Like I can skip a stone across it. Like you know what I mean? Like I can, somebody can be like, oh uh, you know sorry to hear about Porty or, you know, a share a Porty memory, which of course I want to hear and I want to see tweets and I want to see your art and all that jazz. Like I'm not, this isn't, don't talk to me about Porty. I can see that and I can indulge that for a second and skip, ac skip across the water like a stone and be fine. But it's like, if at any moment I think too long on it, right? Like the stone sinks and I'm just lost in that ocean of grief. And so, you know, like <laughs> I knew it would be rough, you know, I know it's going to be rough the rest of my life, but like, you know, to have like Friday be this big celebration. We were all back together and we were all, you know, moving boxes and having a beer or whatever, or eating too much food, like having a great time. It was like, well, I didn't expect it. You know what I mean? I didn't expect to open the studio decoration box and get the piece of pizza, let alone squeak it and be like, oh man, like I haven't heard that squeak in so long. And then, you know, like I think about pretty all the time. Like I, you know, like I said, like, if you want, you know, Jen and I can try, cry a drop of a hat in the house. And it's so goddamn, I'm so lucky to have her. You know what I mean? Because, like, she's going through the exact same thing with me. So it's like, I don't need to say or explain away anything about it. But, you know, we're just, you know, I'm used to the, the triggers in the house. You know, like, the way light will shine into the kitchen. Or even yesterday, like, we were tearing the kitchen apart, like, redoing the pantry stuff. And, like, I cleaned out his uh, food containers and like cans of food he still had and, like medicine that was still there under the sink and stuff that we've just been too busy to do. And like, obviously that triggered me and made me cry. I expect that. You know what I mean? Like there's photos of them all on the wall and God, every morning, every morning, you know, one of the things we trained Ben, ben to do <laughs> is to, we have this wall of 40 pictures and he waves every morning. The first thing he does when he, we pass in the kitchen to make a bottle is he waves. He says, hi, to the do hi doggy. He doesn't say hi doggy yet, but he waves and he knows it's there. It's like so crazy. Uh, but like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I just, I feel like I'm so open with you guys. You know, that's the whole reason this works. Kind of funny works. Oh, that's your five minutes. Bye everybody. Fucking right. Uh, it's the whole reason kind of funny works. And I'd like to think that I've been successful, right? Is the fact that like, you know, I share everything with you guys, whether it's good or bad. And so it's not that I think, I've hidden uh, the porty grief. Obviously, you guys know that I'm devastated not to have him. And you know that he was like, you know, he was part of me. That's the thing that, you know, <laughs> I think I said it on the podcast at some point, probably, or just fucking in my head. But like, you know, if they would have ever sold the Greg Miller action figure, it would have porty in the package. But he was never an accessory. You know what I mean? Like, he was more than that. He was part of me. And so, like, you know, it still is such a crazy 
empty feeling at times because like don't get me wrong like you know jen's my other half and we're so lucky to have benjamin and life is so fucking good and i can't wait for you to see this studio and i'm so proud of the team we have right now the content we're creating but you know we're it's, it's hard to leave like you know saturday it'll be six months six months since we lost Porty, and it both feels so short and so long because you know all you want to do is hug him and like to have the squeaker right like it's the idea of, like the hundreds of hours he he squeaks things in my lap and to know what his head felt like right like his little fucking hard ass dome head but the muscles on the side and how they would contract and it's always that rough thought when you start thinking about like you know i'll never feel that again and i know we'll have another dog and that dog will squeak shit in my lap i know that but you know what i mean like i don't know i just felt like i hadn't talked about porn in a long time on content and i wanted to make sure you all know how much he still means to me and I don't even know if that's what I'm trying to do here. That's the beauty of the vlogs, I guess, is that there's a diary, right? I guess that's the whole point of them. And, like, don't get me wrong, like, lots of times this shit's going to be about Ghostbusters. Or whatever the hell else, you know, I'm doing. But, I don't know, and there's some other motherfucker, too. As you know, I get shit on all the, all the time on the internet. I'm used to it. I don't care. But some fucker in one of the comments on one of the YouTube videos... Was, was trying to dunk on me. It was like, man, they, you know, ask for money and then, you know, I'll talk about my dead dog or whatever. It's like, fuck off, man. Like, this is, you're watching this video, not you, the asshole. The asshole definitely doesn't support us on Patreon. But like, you're here and this is the gist of it, right? Is like, they're meant to be one on ones. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to probably give Barrett rides to the office uh, someday. It's not all the days, obviously, but when he needs it or whatever. And like, I don't want to vlog with him in the car, at least not early on. Not because I don't love Barrett. Barrett's awesome. But because I want this to be the relationship. I want it to be me talking, but it'll be interesting. Like, you know what I mean? We did, I did Greg way, not as a vlog, but just as a thing on my YouTube channel, right? That was like the third show I ever did. Um, when I started youtube.com slash game over gray, which became kind of funny. So everybody kind of owes me their life. Not you guys, but like blessing. He kind of a life debt. Um, but I, even that was like, I think more in depth, not in depth, that's not right, more produced. Like I had a, I was coming in and I wanted to make this point, that point or whatever. And I feel like these are going to be more rambly. What do I want to talk about? And today I want to talk about Porty. Because I love him so much. And I haven't said that in a long time. On a camera, obviously. Again, I talk to Jen. I don't even think that this is all pent up inside of me, like. Again, I cry and talk to Jen a lot about Porty, and she does the same. That's not Benjamin crying, by the way. If you hear a baby crying, that's not, that's not Ben. Some other kid here. But yeah. I don't know. That's what I wanted to do. That's I. That, this is how I wanted to set the bar for what a Greg way is going to be. Uh, just me crying. Or at least being real. A lot of people backing up like they're going to hit my car lately. What is up with you people? You're driving different. Huh. So yeah, that was well over five minutes. That's what you can get here on Gregway and me talking about things, usually happier things in video games and whatnot. But today we're six months uh, pretty much out from Porty passing. And the pizza drove me over the edge. And you might say, what are you do with the pizza? I'm going to leave it in the car so I can squeak it uh, whenever I want to. Yeah. So that's it. That's a Gregway. They will be happier than this usually. Sorry for the amount of people who probably had to turn it off because they didn't want to see me cry like a moron. But thanks for being there. Thanks for letting me talk about it. Uh, I love Porto. You know that. I miss him. I miss him a lot. Uh, you will get one of these every day. Tomorrow will not be like this. What will it be about? I don't know yet. We'll find out. And it'll be exciting. I fucking crashed on Games Daily today, if you didn't see. I had a really good energy. I'm really excited to get back to the studio. And I wonder how much of that's from being in the studio with everybody on Friday. We'll see. I got a million other shows to do. I got to go blow my nose. We're launching a studio next fucking week. I cannot believe that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Um, you know, we couldn't do any of this without your support on Patreon. And I know that, you know, we went through a whole bunch of, not a whole bunch. We revised what we did on Thursday already because of your support. Thank you so much for caring and wanting to give us feedback and wanting to be a part of this. I can't wait. Like, I feel like every kind of funny day we set, like, we say, like, oh, we're resetting. Um, it'll change what kind of funny it is. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah legitimately uh friday the 14th is the biggest thing we've ever done and it will fundamentally change uh what this company is in the eyes of so many different people but at its core this is what kind of funny is all about until next time it's been my pleasure to serve you